150 miles off the northeast coast of Scotland lies the BP Miller Field. After 30 years of energy production, the field is being decommissioned. The platform has been removed, but a final structure remains, hidden from view, 100 meters below the surface. The Miller 30-inch subsea isolation valve. In a first-of-its-kind sail purchase arrangement, Deep Ocean acquired the SSIV and surrounding subsea infrastructure. With a commitment to recovering and recycling all oil field related equipment and debris, a full work scope was developed. This is a first of its kind contracting model. It's a sale and purchase agreement between Deep Ocean and BP. Deep Ocean are proud to be leading the market in conjunction with BP, taking on this new and innovative contracting strategy. We have a collaborative approach and also there's a commitment to the energy transition. Both of us are working in the transition from existing technology into new renewable future. The sale and purchase agreement allowed BP to transfer ownership of the subsea kit to a competent contractor in this instance, Deep Ocean. The key benefit was that it allowed Deep Ocean schedule and execution flexibility using their own systems, processes and procedures to execute the work safely and efficiently. Now it was time for the recovery work to begin. In total, I think we're looking at 19, 20 months in overall project duration for this. There's a lot behind the scenes that happens before you're out here doing the work. Deep Ocean deployed four vessels from our extensive fleet to deliver over 100 vessel days in 11 separate offshore companies. This was a technically challenging scope, with the Miller 30 inch SSIV being Deep Ocean's heaviest recovery lift to date. The SSIV is a massive structure, but after three decades since installation, some of the original technical information was missing. The integrity of the structure was uncertain. We identified through detailed engineering that there was some discrepancies between the drawings and the actual structure, which then led us into survey campaigns, 3D modeling, detailed analysis. The onshore team that Deep Ocean's built around delivering projects, that's what we do, it's the core business of the company. There's all the detailed engineering, the modeling, ensuring that we're in adherent with the regulatory requirements. And it's really key, it makes the success of the project is those people on shore that are delivering it. Deep Ocean mobilised a dedicated survey vessel to perform integrity checks on the structure to confirm if the structural members were flooded. Using a specialised camera system, the team built an extremely accurate digital twin of the SSIV with sub-millimetric accuracy. This allowed them to reverse engineer the lifting pad eye design and test the structural integrity of the SSIV. The analysis showed that the structure would fail under its own weight during recovery, and so the weight had to be reduced. After 30 years underwater, the team needed to be certain it would withstand the dynamic environment of recovery. This is a decommissioning operation, and what is special about that is that means that we have to think a little bit different during the planning. We don't have a recovery manual to follow the equipment, and it's unique, but also a very interesting way to work. The deconstruct campaign involved removing marine growth, 60 tons of hatches, and several sections of the SSIV before the final lift. Deep Ocean is a world leader in safely and effectively executing subsea work by using remote technology, removing the need to use divers. This is the control room, the focal point for all of Deep Ocean's operations on board this vessel. We have to coordinate subsea deck vessel and third party activities, helping all the teams work together. At the moment, we are cutting sections off uh, a subsea structure to reduce the weight so it can be recovered by another one of our vessels, the Edda Freya. Using ROVs, the team cut and removed the roof hatches and the overtrawl structure. Without the ROV, it would be impossible to do this job. The ROV provides the eyes in the water so that we can assist the diamond wire saw into the correct locations to cut. We've also got some tooling ourselves where we will grind off bolts and hinges. We dredge in around the SSIV so that the diamond wire saw can get a full 360 around the lower members. Due to the overall size of it and the weight, we're using uh, multiple diamond wire saws, and we'll be using these to cut up multiple parts of the structure. 
Each cut should take anywhere between half an hour to an hour, depending on the size and wall thickness of each cut. So we'll deconstruct the SSIV as much as possible to reduce the weight. This operation is 24 hours, so we have personnel working all day long at night. <laughs> There's a lot of different people. You have to figure a way out to work together. So we can do all these uh, difficult and complicated uh, operations in a good and safe and efficient way. Within a few days, approximately 60 tons of steel and marine growth are recovered, bringing the structure to within its recoverable weight limits. Now it's time to retrieve the SSIV itself. Deep Ocean's recovery team have planned and developed a bespoke rigging solution to safely recover the SSIV to deck. We're looking at a structure that's upwards of 400 tons. It's going to be the biggest lift that Deep Ocean's ever done. In these kind of heavy lift operations, it's, uh, it's important that we have the right uh, weather window so that we can uh, perform safe deck handling. We've had to make a lot of calculations and assumptions on the recovery load and what to expect. And in turn, because of the size of the structure and the weight of it, we've had to develop a bespoke rigging solution. At the moment, we are reconfigurating the main crane for a double fall high lift mode. That's enabled us to get a higher hook height and also be able to recover a much higher load than the single fall. It'll be the first time we'll ever do a subsea lift with the crane in that configuration. It's the final piece to the big puzzle that has been this Don and Miller decommissioning scope. It's a painstaking process that must be done within strict industry guidelines. As the crane slowly lifts its colossal load, the SSIV becomes visible to human eyes for the first time in 30 years. But all that work is paid off when, finally, the SSIV is lowered onto the deck of the Edda Freya. A project like this is always interesting. It's the first time that Deep Ocean has lifted a structure of this size and weight, and so with that comes its challenges. We've done a lot of engineering. We've had a huge team working on this. There's been hundreds of people involved in this project. We've had a successful campaign offshore. We've had a very successful lift. We believe it's gone well and our engineering was worth it. With the 400-ton SSIV safely on board, it's time for it to make its final journey to Aberdeen's South Harbour. We've had over 100 vessel days offshore. We've utilised four of Deep Ocean's vessels from our fleet. We've also utilised two fishing vessels to do overtrawl surveys to prove that we've executed the scope correctly. We're going back to Aberdeen to offload the structure and hand it across to our waste contractor. This project will come to an end. It's been a very successful campaign and a successful year and a half. Hard work was worth it. Back in Aberdeen, the SSIV is lifted one last time. Over the following days, it will be cut up and the metal sent away to be recycled. Deep Ocean recovered over 1,400 tonnes of material. We executed the project safely and 99% of that was recycled. The safe and successful recovery of the SSIV is testament to the innovative engineering and can-do attitude of the Deep Ocean team. Deep Ocean's uniqueness stems from its extensive in-house engineering expertise and strong problem-solver mindset. Combined with its adoption of leading technologies, massive subsea tool pool and subsea vessel fleet, around 30 onshore personnel were involved in planning the project and more than 200 offshore personnel played key roles in completing it. Deep Ocean have an extensive number of onshore and offshore personnel with a huge amount of specialist decommissioning expertise. That coupled with our advanced technology and equipment make us a perfect partner to use for projects such as this. It's a very proud moment to show how we've worked well as a collaborative team throughout the entire process. A lot of people need to communicate and work together for this to be a success. Trying new things is key. Being bold, taking on new challenges and learning from them is how we'll become more successful in decommissioning. Everything has gone smooth, very good atmosphere and teamwork between the companies. We all were very happy. 
That's what's really been the most exciting part of this, is seeing everybody pull together and really make this work as a company. The success of the project is down to the hard work and the dedication of the team, both onshore and offshore, in delivering this project in a successful, safe and efficient manner. Deep Ocean's goal is zero harm to its people, its assets and the environment. Their use of ROVs and other remote technologies minimizes the risk to people. Deep Ocean's methodology puts people first. And the Miller SSIV recovery project demonstrates once again that it's effective across all contracting models.